Hi there, it's Toy, and uh, we are getting there. Oh my goodness, it's been so excited. Welcome back to the finale of Toy Thomas Presents a Google Drive How To. This is Google Drive How To 10 of 10. This is lesson 5.1, and we're going to see what we can do with our files. I'm going to be working in Chrome as usual. However, you can use whatever browser you're most comfortable with. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into some um, files that we have. Remember, if you are on a smart device, you're going to be looking for the three horizontal dots next to the name of each file. You will tap that to access the menu options. The menu options and order the, the order and the number of those options may be different than what you see on the desktop. So we are going to be right clicking on our documents here to see some of our options. The first thing that pops up is the preview option. This allows you to view the content of the file without opening it. So let's do that. You can use these back arrow that's in the dark field here to get you back to where you started from. And you can use this arrow here to scroll through other documents. Again, this is just a preview. You can't manipulate anything from this point. So we're going to go back. The next thing that is available is the open with icon, which I've mentioned before with the open with icon, unless you have something that is applicable, it won't work. Um, if it's compatible with documents, it'll open in documents it'll, or spreadsheets or, you know, something like that. Um, we also have the share, which is very similar to the same share icon from folders, get link, show file location, add shortcut. The move to, which we looked at that, um, starred um, icon. And then this one is new. This one's different from what we saw with the folder. This is the um, offline icon. You can click on the gray button here. It becomes blue. A little bar shows up in the left corner letting you know your, your file is becoming available off, offline. And then if you go back and right click, you can click on that same button now that is blue to make it gray again. Your little pop-up comes up in the left corner to let you know that it is no longer available offline. So that's nifty. We also have view detail. Make a copy. This one is a little different too. We didn't have this one with the um, folder one. So this one you're going to click on this option and wait for the small status bar to pop up in the lower left corner letting you know the file is being created. So when you click, the copied file will appear next to the original as a copy. You may then rename the file to distinguish it from the original. And that's the option that you click on and the rename option was a little bit further up, but that's where you would rename it so that you can tell the difference between your copy and your um, original if you want to do that. Let's see what other options we have. We have report abuse. The important thing to remember is you do not want to be reporting abuse about your own file. I mean, just make sure you're doing that. This is usually something that if something has been shared with you and you find that it's an issue, you can click here to report it. And there's a whole you know system in place for that. All right, let's see what our next options are. After report abuse, we have our download, which we've already looked at. It, it works the same way as the folder icon um, download option and then also the remove icon. So these are the things that you can do with your files. Show you something real quick. I'm going to do a mass delete just because I have a lot of stuff here that I don't need. That was for the purposes of this class. So I'm just clicking, holding down, and highlighting all of these items at once. And I'm going to right click and remove them all because I don't need them. But if I decided for some reason that I do need them, I have 30 days to change my mind. So that is it for this course. Um, I hope you, I really do hope you got something out of it. I had fun doing it. Um, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with everyone. Make a playlist. Um, all actually, these are already on a playlist. So maybe if you want to save the playlist, that's that's an option. Um, this is the final lesson um, in this series. I do have some Patreon exclusive content that I'm going to be adding on, but this is it. I mean, this is just kind of, you know, the tutorial on how to um, use and manipulate Google Drive. And um, 
So um, I am actually making the comments for this particular video open to the public because I'd love to know if you guys, you know, thought this was helpful or if you think I should, you know, do more of this. Um, I, this was just on Google Drive, but I didn't talk about the specific apps like um, Docs and Sheets and things like that. Or maybe there's something else you think I should tackle. I would love to know your thoughts. Um, so I do hope you got something out of it. Um, you know, like I said, I did make the comments available for everyone. Let me know what you think. Um, and, you know, if you found this useful at all, please consider leaving me a tip at the PayPal link below. It's not necessary, but it would be nice. Or you could also consider joining my Patreon community, and maybe I can make some exclusive content for you there. So as always, this is Toy saying stay safe and be blessed.